I'm Patrick Bass, I'm the CEO for ThyssenKrupp North America. So for us, within ThyssenKrupp, one of our primary service businesses is the elevator business. And with the elevator business being such a focus on service and the profitability of service, we found that that's the most natural fit on an immediate basis of application for IoT. We want to connect a million pieces of equipment um, out there across the globe. When you're talking about an IoT application that not only provides efficiency to you, the company, you also derive immediate customer value because you're improving the uptime of the elevators of the transportation system in their buildings, which results in, of course, happier customers of theirs and less disruption and shutdown. So um, it's, a, it's an easy fit. It started as an R&D research project, something that was a crazy idea that we got enough acceptance through the board to say, okay, go try something. And um, that built into them saying, okay, oh, we have this device and here's where we want to go. And that built some momentum from the business side, from the field side of our business saying, hey, this could really add value. From the beginning, it, it started, oh, it's about device. It's, it, you know, we have to put a device on to communicate and the device is going to solve everything because, oh, the device will monitor the system itself. And, and that was a hard lesson learned to realize that once we spent the money, we developed the device, did all the research to prove the device works, we stepped back and took a look and said, wait a minute, the device now becomes the next failure method it can fail and it, it's so much intelligence on it that you have basically built in just another component in the system. Is there another way? And we quickly realized that the proof with that device showed that we already had access to data in our system already available that we didn't have to add another device for, that we simply had to add a way to communicate. So it's that journey that you go through, the realization you go through. It is about the data, but it's not just data in a broad sense. Um, it has to be very specifically tied to the vision of what you're trying to challenge in the disruption of your business model. And that's really a key. You know, we have these other businesses, and gee, the same process works for these other businesses integrating into our aerospace business, integrating into our component supply for automotive. And, and, and so this has built a big momentum and a big focus and vision for ThyssenKrupp as a whole to be a digital company.